Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video covering the Kiwi Ears Quartet. This is a hybrid set with a dual isobaric dynamic driver in each side, and then it has two BAs in each side as well. I like the driver configuration. I think the tuning here and the resolution and the overall presentation on this IEM is just so well done, particularly for my music listening library, as well as from a gaming perspective. I think if anybody has been interested in entering the space. This is really an IEM at $109 that showcases what IEMs can do, not only from a gaming perspective, from, but from a music listening and entertainment perspective as well. Just getting into the shell, I mean, the aesthetics here are absolutely stunning. It's got a black shell mixed with this little purple swirl. Uh, and the Kiwi Ears logo on the faceplate. It has a fish mouth nozzle that is not either long or wide. I think a lot of people are going to have a tremendous amount of comfort on these for long gaming sessions, something that never hurt my ear or my ear canal, um, and just a beautiful medical grade resin shell that has the ergonomics and the size that I think is going to be a hit comfort wise for a heck load of a lot of people. You can see I do not have the default cable here on the right. I did go for the uh, triple in violet cable, which matches that purple pretty damn well. I think the combo just looks really, really nice. So I did want to showcase the cable because that's what I've been using with it. Um, and I am using Asla Sedna Your Fit uh, tips on the fish mouth nozzle. Getting into my music library, I listen to J. Cole, uh, Kendrick Lamar, so a lot of rap. And then I also transition into... Sublime, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I think that from a music listening perspective, this is a nice balanced IEM that really has a uh, bass boost, especially in the mid bass region. I think that kick drums, drums, um, bass guitar really sounds extremely nice with a beautiful level of resolution on this set at that price point that far exceeds the capabilities of IEMs that are far more pricey than the Kiwi Ears Quartet. Um, something like listening to Santa Ria, the male vocals are just absolutely rich and beautiful. And then all of the instruments, is, uh, from the string instruments to the drums, um, everything is absolutely beautiful and is presented in a way and a stage that feels really nice for that uh, type of track. You feel just a few rows behind the stage. It's got a presentation that is um, closer to the chest, particularly when you transition from music listening to gaming. If you take this into Valorant, the sound uh, stage is going to be a bit closer to you, which is nice for tax shooters. Getting into its performance uh, in Valorant, what I have noticed is that there are a lot of IEMs that have that presentation when things are a little bit closer to you um, that you lose or get uh, a little bit less of a audio cue for things that are too far away. This actually has a very nice presentation, both for verticality as well as depth perception. So you're getting a nice presentation of exactly how far somebody is away from you. And even though that soundstage presentation is a bit closer to the chest, making it feel more immersive, the things that are happening around you uh, are benefited in that regard because you're getting a greater sense of urgency of where enemies are around you. So you get a better uh, transparency of how far exactly somebody is in front of you behind a wall, as well as uh, not just the depth, but the horizontal imaging as well. I think the imaging on this set is extremely good. Depth perceptions handled great, and verticality is really nice as well. I recently reviewed the Dunu SA6 Mark II, and I, I mentioned that um, that soundstage presentation was a bit closer to the chest as well. But on that set, operators, sheriffs, vandals became a little bit uh, too much resonance. It kind of just rumbled and lasted too long. The quartet is uh, much different than the SA6 Mark II in that regard. I never felt that the operator, the uh, sheriff, things like that ever kind of became too punchy to the sense of washing other things out. This set is a set that has great separation for Valorant in particular and tax shooters, a great presentation for tax shooters and one that I would uh, definitely recommend. I think that if the mid bass and sub bass were EQ'd and brought down a little bit, I think separation would improve on this set. I think that something like the Truth or Critical Zero with a dip in that mid bass 
Um, you can probably hear a little bit better when a lot is going on, but you don't find yourself in those situations too much in Valorant. Uh, and I think for that reason, I would absolutely recommend them for tax shooters because the imaging, the depth perception, everything is extremely good. And the tuning is just a lot of fun with things like shooting vandals never becoming too obnoxious from your perspective or enemies shooting vandals, operators, etc. It is a beautiful set that again, provides a lot of urgency and immediacy of the things happening around you, which uh, when you're trying to clutch around are the things that when playing Pro CS um, or playing Valorant happen quite often when you're trying to clutch a 1v3 uh, or become oriented on where enemies are when you are trying to enter a site to get the bomb defused and handle uh, trying to clean up the enemy team. I think at $109, again, I'm going to stress this throughout the review, this is the number one set that I would recommend right now because the tuning is just so much a damn fun. Everything sounds absolutely amazing and everything is still handled very well uh, in the games that I have tested. Getting to Apex Legends, the presentation again is a bit closer to the chest. When there is a lot going on, a lot, a lot, a lot going on, uh, there can be a little bit missed in terms of the things that are happening around you because the mid base, the sub base become a little bit overwhelming on this base boosted set. But it wasn't ever to the level of being something that I wouldn't recommend. I think that everything else is handled so well in terms of imaging, depth perception, verticality. Again, you're getting a really nice presentation of exactly where things are, uh, either above you, uh, uh, one floor above you, two floors above you, and where enemies are kind of um, running or sliding around the building. The only time, again, that things were a little bit lost, if you go into... Uh, control, you can kind of get a sense of this uh, very quickly. If you go to barometer and you're pushing one of the nodes and there are just, um, you know, five people around you on your team, five people on the other team, um, it can become a bit uh, convoluted in terms of where everything is. I think if you bring that mid base down with an EQ, you can get to a greater extent of where the Dunu Vulcans kind of sit. Uh, but overall, it's still not anything that I think from a budget perspective, I would say to not get these. I think everybody should kind of experience uh, the Kiwi Ears Quartet because that tuning again is just so much fun. Um, and you don't find yourself in those scenarios very often and you still have just this great presentation of imaging and depth perception that I think from a, a competitive perspective, you're getting an absolutely beautiful set. Um, I just have to bring up that separation a little bit in those uh, basier regions. Things like shield batteries, uh, the storm coming behind you, ultimates going off from Gibraltar and Bangalore can be um, a little bit uh, more expressed on this set than the other audio cues. Um, but overall, its tuning is just extremely good, extremely fun, absolutely beautiful, and very revealing. I think anybody could perform extremely well on the Kiwi Ears Quartet from a competitive ex perspective. Um, and then again, just transitioning to music, um, single player games and entertainment, just such a beautiful all rounder that it's absolutely going to get my recommendation. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but the set also has two dip switches and the dip switches do change the sound profile a bit. Um, you can see you've got the two dip switches there on the back. I think the orientation that I liked were one and two down or um, one down, or no, one up and two down. Uh, I think I enjoyed for both Apex and Valorant. And from just an overall comfort perspective, a overall how well the shell looks and just feels and how well this performs for music casual gaming, competitive gaming. Um, this is definitely the best all-rounder that I can think of at this price point. And this is definitely what I would refer to as a giant killer uh, because again, this set sounds superior to some of the sets that I have heard in the $450 to $600 region. Highly recommend this set. I think you guys should check it out if you've been looking for a budget IEM that is extremely good for gaming, but also extremely good for music. I'm going to continue testing this set. I'd want to kind of take this into different titles, test the dip switches and see 
um, what kind of excels in what game. Um, but overall, right now, my initial impressions are extremely positive for competitive gaming uh, and very positive for a music listening and casual experience as well. So again, what I would refer to as a uh, the best all-rounder in that budget bracket, at least that I've tried, uh, and something I would refer to as a giant killer because, again, it surpasses a lot of IEMs that are far more expensive. But that's going to be it for this initial impressions video, guys. I really enjoyed this set. I think you guys, if you've been looking for a set like this, should run out and get it. Um, I think it's beautiful and just from an audio perspective, absolutely stunning. I hope that helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.